What are you making? I'm gonna make something. What? Food. Like what? We don't even have anything, do we? We do. You know, you know that where like, you look in that fridge and there's nothing and that mom looks in the fridge and it's like fully stocked. Well, you know? mom looks in the fridge and she makes everything. I look in the fridge and we have nothing to eat. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pioneer some food. Is that crazy? Ever. That's insane. All right, hunk. Oh, that's so loud. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take two. You just did all the stamps. Five all right, five. high five. Oh. <laughs> the KYD hat is back. It is. Just go to keepyourdaydream.com slash hat. Check out this year's special edition, Folds of Honor. And we have some new styles that you've been asking for and they're hot off the press. All right, so we'll see you at the end of this video to talk more about it. Now, on to the episode. All right. Here is the plan for today. We are, Caleb and I are headed up to Needles Highway. This is where you've probably seen pictures of can't multitask apparently. Um, this is where you've probably seen pictures of uh, people going through the tunnels up near Rushmore. We've never done it. And then I want to swing by Crazy Horse because Caleb and I have never done that either. So we're going to do those two things. And then we want to check out the roads to see if we can go on a ride up here and if it's safe. Kind of check out the shoulder, how steep they are, stuff like that. And then tonight we're going to go to Rushmore around six o'clock. I think the um, the nighttime thing, which we've never done, starts at eight. That way we can get a time lapse and check it out. Be kind of fun to be there in the evening, so that's the plan. Okay, so we're going into the Needles Highway. It's a yeah. state park, so it costs twenty dollars. It is. And she said the tunnel's right around the corner. She says lots of state parks, great scenic drive. I think we're here at the perfect time of year. Let me get you the temperature. Yeah, it does. Look What's the date today? I have watched this died. Today is uh, October 5th, Jeez. and it is 58 degrees. I know it sounds cold, but it's not, because it's sunny. It's a little chilly, but the sun's super hot, but it's really beautiful. So they said, uh, someone asked to put the mirrors in, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Oh man, that is really cool, isn't it? Wow. There you go. This is awesome. Isn't this cool? Uh -huh. Look at this tunnel. That is something else. It feels narrower than it is, but uh, this truck's pretty big and I think I've got, I think I've got six inches to a foot on each side. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Maybe she was right. Maybe she was right. Maybe she was right. <laughs> oh man, look Let's at that. Let's go see if it left a mark. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, these Ford mirrors are really tough. Oh yeah, check it out. Oh, there it is. I mean, it's a little, no, it's right here. It's hardly anything. Hardly anything. Plastic. No problem. We made two big mistakes going through the tunnel. A, I got distracted and hit my mirror, but there's no damage. And second, I forgot to honk the horn. So we will not make those two mistakes going back through. Um, I did watch, I did record some people coming out. And the thing that this is reminding me of on this particular trip is it feels like this is like an adult recess. You got the right car. Right? Good afternoon, Black Hills Helicopter Tourist, Marilyn speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Marilyn. Uh, my son and I were thinking about going out with you. Do you have any availability today, by chance? Yeah, wide open. Oh, really? Except, well, I have a couple of flights at one at, one at 105 and one at 140, but otherwise we're open right now. Okay. And we're open after 1 40. Oh, okay, cool. Um, is it the kind of thing that he and I could just drive down there now? We're, we're over at uh, ne the Needles Tunnel. Yeah, yeah, you sure can. Cool. Um, you, you got time. You, by the time you die here, we can get you up in the air. Hello. Hey, how are you? Doing pretty well. How are you? Good. Hi. 
Spoke to you guys on the phone, you I think? Me. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Let's talk about our tours so I can show you what's, what we got here. Okay, great. Excited? So, I'm so excited. Yeah? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. You get good shots for me with the iPhone? I will. All right. I will. I'll take the co pilot first. Yeah. I'm gonna hang right there. Gas engine, six cylinder. The next one over is an R66. That one's actually a turbine. We got that because it's more power. It'll hold uh, four people instead of three. And then the bell is typically used for uh, inspecting power lines, go out, maybe. Uh, News stations. Elk. Yep. I was in one of those when I was in, uh, uh, yeah, in kindergarten with uh, Jerry Foster back yeah, in Arizona. Station yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Count elk. This is a classic helicopter, oh, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> You're not kidding. I love this area. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, that smell. <laughs> <laughs> that smells great. And that's a 76. Oh, is it really? Oh, man. Mount Rushmore isn't technically a national park. It's a national monument and an iconic road trip, especially when traveling by RV. Mount Rushmore features the likeness of four American presidents carved into the rock of South Dakota's Black Hills. Those four presidents are, from left to right, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. They represent our nation's birth, growth, development, and preservation respectively. The original plan was to carve more than faces into the stone. The mountain was meant to feature the presidents from waist up, but we ran out of funding in 1941, so only the heads were ever finished. Gutzen Borglum was the sculptor responsible for the project. He started in 1927 and worked until his death in 1941, when his son took over the project until it was finished a few months later. You could visit Mount Rushmore in a quick 30 minute selfie stop, but we highly recommend making an afternoon of it and exploring the area as this part of South Dakota is stunning. In fact, it's worth coming back for the evening ceremony, which ends in late September. This is our second time to Mount Rushmore, or MT as the young Caleb refers to it. We're gonna go see um, MT. We're gonna see my boy Abe up there and um, we're gonna get my package that one of the rangers sent to me since I did a report on it. So we're gonna do that. And then... Yeah, it has to be Jefferson. It's one of these street names is Jefferson. Muffin. No. 
so there's a there's like this whole network of other areas that you can explore around Rushmore. You know, that's the whole main viewing area, which is pretty cool. But if you walk back here, there's different terraces and places to view the presidents. And then we noticed to the right, there were steps that were going all the way up underneath. It looked like a hike. I heard people talking next to us that there's like 400 and something steps. It takes like 23 minutes or something. So I don't know if it's closed, but Kelvin and I are gonna meander on over there because that's kind of cool. I mean, we've been here before, so we kind of got the Rushmore experience, but I really came for the nighttime stuff, but missed it by five days. Bummer. Okay, this morning's time lapse was symbolic of this season because winter has been right on our heels. <laughs> Every time we leave a place, winter rolls in right as we go. So hopefully it stays a little bit warmer for the ride that Caleb and I have coming up, but uh, here's the plan right now. We're gonna leave Custer right now. I gotta get propane because um, we're out of propane. I picked up a box of death because we're getting low on death. We're pretty much low on everything. We're gonna head to Wind Cave on our way to the Badlands. So, that's it. You ready? So just to add a little clarity to the propane situation, for those of you that might be new or just getting into RVing, that I have two 30 pound tanks. Those are the taller tanks. And the first tank, when the weather was good, warm, that first tank lasted about one month. We left on August 25th, went through about the end of September. The second tank, as the temperature started to get cooler and the furnace was kicking on at night, we leave the furnace about 55 or 60, just so when it gets super cold, it just like kicks on for a few minutes. Well, as it's been getting colder, that tank lasted 10 days. So I'll probably be turning it down a little lower so I can stretch it out. So now we have to fill. Today's August, uh, October 6th. Good license plate. Slippery big cut. Can you feel it? Is there running water? No, down there? it's air. It's, it's air. air? Yeah. Is it warm? Ugh. Is it really blowing? Get down there. Put your head down there. Oh my gosh. That's blowing. Is it? Is it warm? That's blowing big time. Put your hand down there. Okay, let me take my gloves off. conversation is that Caleb was having is what what is it that you have to do at a national park to feel like good it. or guilt-free scratching off that park getting that stamp saying you did it what is it so for Yellowstone it depends every night so like Yellowstone you got to see Old Faithful Old Faithful at least that's like yeah that's the minimum that's like the bare minimum but... we are checking this box yeah we are we drove the 23 minutes we're checking the box wow. hello Charlie yay are you glad we didn't do the tour are you glad we didn't do the tour, Charlie boy? It kind of begs the question. I said before, there's, ne there's never been a national park that I, I wasn't impressed with. And a lot of people started writing in the comments like, what about this national park? What about this national park? I will say, any national park you visit is only as good as the effort that you put into it. And doing the research and reading the articles and understanding the history and, and finding out why did it become a national park? And then there are some national parks like in our top 10, we did our top 10 video, Yosemite and Zion and Acadia and even the Smokies, which can, some people, you know, you gotta roll, I have said before, you gotta roll up your sleeves when it comes to Smokies because you gotta get inside. 
but there's some national parks that just lay it all out there for you. You don't have to do anything. You're just in awe of the beauty. And then there's others that are national parks because of the history and the things that have happened. And you've got to, you got to, you put a little effort in in order to get the same experience. With that being said, um, we've done a fair amount of cave tours. And in my opinion, the Carlsbad Caves in New Mexico is the best because you can, it's self guided, it's huge, and it's a lot of fun to go through. Okay, yeah. check this out. Go. Ooh, oh, yeah. Whoa. 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 Oh my gosh. Whoa. This is worth the trip just coming in the elevator up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, look it. We're like 650. Oh my gosh, they're giving you the feet below the surface. The only reason there's a tour guide is because it was like, they're so big. It's a complex. It's so, it's yeah. so complex that um, they yeah. actually need one. Cause and you know, I mean, under different circumstances, if we had time and I knew you needed reservations, we probably would have done it. We still need to go to um, um, the, the Badlands. I'd like to dry camp at that like Badlands dry camping spot right on kind of the edge. And of course, Wall Drug, another one of my favorites. So um, anyway, so that's it. Hot Springs, South Dakota. She had a broken wing, she's trying to hang. And I was much too old, act on the field. Don't ask me why I'm taking this route. Mistakes were made. Then again, I ain't never had someone to hold. Desperate need of death. Diesel exhaust fluid for those that don't have a diesel engine. Okay. There we go. Let's see. solution for that and I don't even have to get out of the truck. Perfect. That was your first crackle barrel experience? Second, second. I think we really? did that yeah, in the lazy days. And we did. That was yeah, but uh, first good. first time we've ever camped at a cracker barrel, shockingly. I'm a little surprised we wouldn't have done that before because it is convenient, but it's nice. what was funny is the conversation about the omelet or lack thereof because we both ordered omelets and she says we don't do omelets and it really, it stopped me in my tracks. I, I had no idea where to go from there. And I'm going free, so I was already throwing it off. So we were just, I, 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 so she saw the panic in my eyes and I said, well, what do you do with eggs? And she's, you know, kind of go through all the things, but she didn't mention scramble. Well, then Kayla mentioned scramble, and I said, wait a second, you scramble eggs? She says, yeah. I said, well, let's put ham and cheese. And you just made a scrambled egg omelet. Yeah, and so anyway, so, we so she, she goes to the back, and she says, she comes back, she says, the chef came back to me and says, hey, Jenny, come over here. And the chef says, are you trying to make an omelet? She says, no, because we don't make omelets. And he goes, all right, and he laughed. But anyway, an omelet came out. That Maybe looks that. a lot like an omelet. <laughs> Scrambled eggs disguised as an omelet. Right, right. Right? The goodness! Trisha's back! Hey! You didn't feel the pain like I did. <laughs> you did, because I stopped recording somewhere in like East South Dakota. I'm like, I just need to get to Michigan. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> is that good? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> yes. Yes. Cozy blankets are my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I got a fire right there for you. What do you need the blanket for? <laughs> because I was born to live in the sun. Yes. Ah. It's very good to have Trish back in the KYD episodes. Thank you. Yes. It's good to be back. Yes. All right. So uh, this is a real-time update. We wanted to, of course, talk to you about the KYD hats that are available and uh, kind of give you an idea of like some of the stuff that's about to come. Which that's is right. pretty cool. Let's first talk about these hats, especially the a favorite uh, KYD flag hat. That's right. We have some classics. Yes. And we have some new deliveries. One of them is what I have on right here. This is a twist on one of the classics. Mm -hmm. We've done this before in white and people gave us feedback. I need something a little more durable Well, and because I get fingerprints on it. That's right. And then if you remember, we went to uh, Martha's Vineyard and we saw this color. This is Nantucket red. And Trisha's like, that would be a really cool That's color for so a hat. That's so cool. So this is twill, yeah. like, you know, like a khaki pant kind mm -hmm. of. It fits really nice and I love the dream. Yeah. Embroidery. Okay, then this is kind of the special edition limited quantity this year. This is the uh, Folds of Honor, which is this year's charity of choice. So Fold of, Folds of Honor, American flag on front, KWD logo, and navy on the side. And um, not just $1 for every of this hat that's sold will go to Folds of Honor, but $1 for all, all of the hats yes. are going to go to Folds of Honor. So we so appreciate not only your support of KYD, but the support collectively that we're all able to do to make an impact for the charity of choice. So thank you. Yes, giving back is what we'd love to do. So thank you so much. Okay, a couple other uh, quick ones here. Um, this is a brand new one that we've never had. This is kind of like a heathered gray um, with the snapback in the back, which is kind of cool. Really. I like that you're the hat model. It's yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just keep it's it. Very okay, good. this is um, this is almost a controversial topic. Oh my gosh, there's so much smoke. Yeah. Um, the visor. The, there has <laughs> been a visor request since the very, very beginning. Yeah. And so um, this year we did a visor, but Trish went, had to make sure it was a little taller. Right. 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 Because yeah. I like the way that it sits on everyone's head. Yeah. It doesn't like go. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I'm messing up your hair. <laughs> That's okay. Can't <laughs> see like, anyway with the smoke screen. Yeah. So that way you don't see like part of your head yeah. and then your hair. You yeah. see just beautiful anyway, hair. It's yeah. super comfortable. And so we're excited about all the options. And like I said, we appreciate your support. Anything to add here? Well, I love Folds of Honor. We discovered it um, when we were in Michigan. Mm -hmm. um, it's been around for quite some time, but we came to know of it. And um, it gives hope during a time where maybe hope might feel very far away so it what it does is give scholarships to kids who have lost a parent um, or guardian in the line of service so those are our military members mm -hmm. and our first responders so I think it's a fabulous thing and um, I'm excited to be part of it yeah. this year okay so uh, other than that we're gonna have a, a season recap video like a National Park Blitz recap and then um, if you've been following us on Instagram you know that Bill Caleb and I rode our bikes from Michigan to Florida mm -hmm. it was about 14 hundred miles so the ride mini series is going to be starting soon in December mm -hmm. and then we have some holiday content and then back to Florida for a lot of winter content and I just want to say that we receive so many fun emails mm -hmm. where people are walking around an RV site or they're out and about doing things in the area and they're wearing their hat mm -hmm. and it makes <laughs> quick connections yeah such a cool hat how's it going and people are like, we had so much fun together just chatting in line or, um, you know, meeting up over a campfire. So um, if that ever happens to you, definitely tell us about it because we love hearing those stories. Hold on, Charlie. All right. That is it for this uh, real time update. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. That is it for now, for, for this episode. Uh, we're glad you're here and we'll catch you next Sunday. Bye for now.